now that we have started our uh, Gmail that we're going to send off to the, our fake kid, and then you're going to carbon copy to me, we need to put some information in it, right? And those are the subject and the body. So your subject is like the title. Uh, imagine like a title of a book or a magazine article or something. Um, it just is a really short few words, five, six words maybe, that are going to summarize what this information is about, what's in your email. It's important that it's really directly, you know, summarizing what's in the email and that it's kind of a catchy thing, okay? Uh, we want people to look at it. We get, I get like literally like maybe almost 100 emails a day and I look at that title really quick and if it doesn't mean anything to me or it's not catching my attention, I'm just deleting it without even looking at what's in the email. So I want to summarize uh, briefly what's in the email and uh, make sure I catch the reader's attention in it. I should not have sensitive information in there, okay? So I don't want to put anything in the title that I wouldn't care if everybody else sees it. Because lots of times uh, I keep my Gmail main screen up on my computer all the time and people are walking by. And so I don't want to have something you know, embarrassing or that is information that shouldn't be shared with everybody showing up in that subject line because those pop up before I even have a chance to you know, click on the email, right? So keep the, the subject line uh, you know, really uh, not sensitive information. We don't want to swear in it or anything bad in there, okay? So we can do that anyway, but definitely be nice and clean in your subject line, okay? Don't use all caps unless it's extremely important. And even then, it's not a really good idea. If you need something, somebody to respond right away to an email, Email may not be your best choice. That's where you're going to go back and text them and say, hey, can you tell me something? You know, I, you know, I'm standing at the grocery store. Do we need eggs? I'm not going to email that to somebody because they won't get it for a while, right? Um, I'll be standing at that grocery store for like four hours. Uh, so I can text them, phone call, whatever. Don't assume email is going to get read right away, okay? So let's go ahead and go to that email that we've already started, okay? So again, if you didn't do this before or you... Um, deleted it. We're going to compose a message, new message. We're going to send it um, to fake kid and then we're going to CC it to me. Okay. So you're going to click the CC and put me in there. And here is our subject line. Now I've just told you that it should be um, interesting and summarize what's in the me email, but then I'm going to turn on and do something totally different for our subject on this. Um, in this email that is going to be your homework assignment you're going to send me, I want you to start by putting in what section you're in. So let's say you're in section 6B, okay, whatever your homework is. You're going to put that in first, okay? Then you're going to put in your first and last name. So I'm going to use another one of my favorite fake students, John Smith, and put him in there. And then I just want you to put in homework, Okay. Now, that may not seem like an exciting title to you, but to me, that's very exciting because I know what section you're in. I know your first and last name, and this is your homework assignment. So this is how I can give you credit for doing your work this week. Okay, So that is my subject um, right there that I have put in. Now, let's go back and talk about the body of our email. So the body of the email is where the main information goes. Uh, you don't want your subject line to be like, you know, this whole long paragraph because it doesn't even show up very easily. So we want to put all of our basic information in to the body. You should have at least something in there in the way of text. Don't just leave it blank every once in a while. That's okay to do to just have the subject you're sending it. But again, that's more like a text thing. Okay. So Email is a little more formal than texting and some of those other things that you guys do. Uh, so we got to be a little more careful in how we write that. We want to use good punctuation and complete sentences and things like that. It doesn't have to be super formal. There are people that say you should always start with dear, you know, so, so and so dear, or at least two, um, dear sir, madam. Maybe the first time I'm writing to somebody, I want to do that and uh, put that in there. If I'm asking for something, I'm going to address it in a more formal way, like a regular letter. But a lot of times you don't have to do that. You can just start off with, you know, going right to the basics. Um, also, Gmail email can have all kinds of attachments to it. And we're going to get to uh, part two of this, um, learning about Gmail, kind of the higher level, more advanced stuff, and learn how we can attach all kinds of things to it and the different ways that we're going to do that. We're not going to do that for this email, but know that that can be done, and that's done in the body of it. And then also, I recommend that you end that 
Gmail with your name and maybe some other information in there. Because again, when we get these really long strings of email where multiple people have been replying to it, it's sometimes it's hard to figure out who said that section in there, okay? So uh, if you look, and, and the good news is that we can learn how to do this automatically. Uh, so in here, you can see in my Gmail, I've got my name and then I'm the athletic director and 538 computers literacy teacher at Northbury Junior High. I don't have to type that out every single time. So again, in part two, we get to the higher level skills in Gmail. I'm gonna teach you how to just have that automatically appear, okay? So we are going to send um, a email to our fake kid and we put in uh, our subject, which is again, your your section you're in, your first and last name, and then the word homework. And we're just going to say, hi, fake. Welcome to our school. Okay. So we're just, you know, heard about this new kid. Uh-oh, he's a fake. We don't want to say that. Hi, fake. Welcome to our school. We're just going to, you know, introduce ourselves to fake kid NP. And so that's everything we need before we send it off in Gmail. I always say, don't send it until you've read it over. Did you get the right recipients? Are you using the BCC and CC correctly? Does there a subject line in there? Uh, is the message in the body clear? Uh, later on, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use a speech to text function. You definitely want to read over that because you can say some awkward things. What you say may not be what Gmail heard and then it gets weird, okay? Uh, check your punctuation and spelling. There is an auto spell check that happens for it. And then I can also show you where you can like, manually make sure the spell check is happening. And, um, and then if you've got attachments, make sure you've sent attachments. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've sent an email and said, here's an attachment and then forgot the attachment and I get an email back like there's no attachments. What are you talking about? Okay, so check for that. All right, so those are all things that you should do before you send the email. If you've got that all done properly, we go back and we click the send button and that takes care of your homework for this week.